Hi guys. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous, is it quite winter yet? No, December 1st. We have somehow as a planet managed to, uh, somehow we have made it through another month in 2016. We have arrived at Thursday morning, December 1st, 2016. Good God, and what a year it's been uh, here in the former paradise of South Austin, Texas here. In the latest month in the end times, Thursday morning, so this is your old depressed collapsitarian just doing his weekly whine. And you can decide what uh, this has to do with the collapse of a planet. This is just, just, you know, guys, all this little rambling whine is, I can't imagine why anyone on the planet wants to listen to this. This is just my latest cautionary tale. Cautionary tale to any clueless fucking moron out there who has a nice job, a nice home, a nice car, plenty of friends, uh, and is thinking about unplugging from the Matrix. Just uh, unplugging from this system that is enslaving us all. And I'm just using myself once again as an example of, of what at least has <clears throat> happened to me. So here is, here is my status <coughs> as of December 1st, 2016. This 57 year old white man born into all of the advantages uh, supposedly, although I'm beginning to doubt this with each passing day, I, I understand I have a 148 IQ. I have five years of college. I have real estate licenses in three states. Uh, let's see, and here I sit on December 1st, 2016, getting ready once again uh, to get up out of here and go sell Christmas trees to clueless fucking morons at the Optimus Club for 12 bucks an hour, for $12.50 an hour. Just a quick side note, I've gotten several uh, comments about loading Christmas trees, tying Christmas trees to the tops of $50,000 SUVs uh, for no tips since I've done rants the past couple of years. I, I am thrilled to announce my, my one, uh, my, my one, is it a promotion? Actually, I'm making less money this year uh, than I have the previous two years. The previous two years, my setup was that I worked for $8 an hour plus tips, which has actually brought my pay as averaged out to around $13.50 an hour. It's amazing. Uh, this year, I, I'm, I'm just too old for this shit, guys, that is tying these trees down. So I'm no longer tying the trees down to these fucking clueless morons, fifty thousand, you know, the, their two hundred dollar trees to their fifty thousand dollar SUVs to take them back to their half million dollar McMansions. At least I'm not doing that, <coughs> and so I'm just working for. I am now the lot manager, uh, so I stay on the lot. They don't let me out because they probably know I will tell one of these fucking clueless morons. Uh, where, where they can ram their goddamn Christmas tree. It's probably the main reason that I no longer uh, tie trees to the tops of $50,000 SUVs. So anyway, so I will actually earn less money than I have the uh, two previous years. It's $100 a day. <clears throat> Eight hours of back-breaking labor and $100 a day. So anyway, this job will probably run out on December 11th. Somewhere between December 11th and December 16th, somewhere in those five days, 
uh, Hambone Littletail will be unemployed once again. At this point, on December 1st, I have no clue, no clue where the next penny is coming from uh, in my life after at the latest December 16th. Now for full disclosure, as you may or may not know, I, I do still own a house free and clear outside of Austin, Texas, so I thank God I'm getting that $850 uh, a month rent coming in, but the taxes on the goddamn house eat the first two months of rent, so I have no income for January and February because those two rent checks go to the goddamn tax office so we can, so I can educate uh, these clueless morons little bundles of joy in the public schools. So pretty much every single penny I am making at this goddamn Christmas tree lot, the vast majority of it is going into the public school system for Travis County, Texas. There should be a, a, a credit for non-breeders. You understand, I, I, I have never had a child spend one day in a public school in my entire life. I don't even want to think. Uh, of the thousands upon thousands upon thousands, good God, uh, I, I might be close to a million dollars that, that I have spent on property taxes, uh, you never having a goddamn kid sitting uh, in, in a public school while my renter, who has a kid, you, you know, spends zero money. Uh, Anyway, don't don't get me off on that goddamn rant uh, about tax credits for uh, clueless fucking breeders. And, and while anyone with a brain not having these little fuckers uh, it, it ends up paying the bill for other people's uh, little planet nibbling bundles of joy. But anyway, I'm done. I'm done with that rant. So anyway. Uh, that's my situation. In, in two more weeks, I have no clue what, what I am going to be doing for an income. And the way things are shaping up right now is I have no clue. It, it is Thursday morning, guys. I've basically, the little dog and I, have, have, have worn out our welcome. That, the nice woman putting me up here, uh, she has not said it's time for you to go, Hambo, but it's obvious the universe is saying, I need to move along. Guys, I have no real idea where I am going to be living on Sunday. Sunday, December 4th. I, I, I got to be out of here. And, and I don't know where I'm going. I'm probably going to end up in my boss's garage uh, living in an unheated, uh, unplumbed garage uh, in my boss's backyard, although she's got 11 cats. <clears throat> and she might say, hell no, you're not moving in there with your goddamn little dog, Hambone. So I am going to be homeless in three days, and uh, there, there you go. Three days. No fucking clue. I mean, I have some clue. I guess I can just. I, I, I guess I could actually just live at the Christmas tree lot. I mean, there's a nice warm trailer there. Uh, maybe I'll just live at the goddamn Christmas tree lot. But of course, that's going to run out, as I say, a week or 10 days later. And uh, Glenda and Beverly, uh, if you're listening to this wine, I know I promise you that I would have an answer for you today on December 1st about this gig out in, uh, out in New Mexico. Uh, give me one more week. Give me one more week 
to figure out my life, whether I, I'm going, I'm either going to work out something with this uh, fellow who wants me to work on his house to get it ready to sell or rent come springtime. It is down to two choices. Uh, either I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be working on some house in, in uh, Cedar Creek, Texas for the winter or working on some uh, house in Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. Uh, th this is this is it. There will be no trip to the islands this year. I I'm just I just can't put that together. Uh, so I will not be returning to Saint Croix, Costa Rica anywhere like that. It's either going to be Cedar Creek, Texas, or Truth or Consequences, New Mexico, and I guess I'll make up my mind in the next week, but I don't even know, am I moving to Cedar Creek, Texas, or Truth or Consequences, New Mexico, on December 12th? I mean, the day after this Christmas tree lot job ends, if, I, if I'm living in my boss's garage, I am going to be both homeless and unemployed uh, two weeks before Christmas. And uh, that is my life. This is what I have manifested in the end times is the collapse of my own life. I, I haven't quite manifested the, uh, the collapse and fall of global industrial civilization, but I'm doing a pretty goddamn good job of manifesting the collapse and fall uh, of my own uh, depressed, collapsitarian life. And uh, that's really the end of this whine on this absolutely gorgeous December day. Uh, so with that, Me and the little dog, we're going to pack it up and head to the Christmas tree lot to sell Christmas trees to clueless fucking morons for $12 an hour. This is your old Christmas optimist, Hambone Littletail and his little dog, Sancho Panza, off into the end times. Are you ready to head off into the end times? He loves playing with the little bundles of joy in the haystack. And, and I know, guys, several, several of you guys have asked me, sent me messages asking me if, if I could do a rant from the Christmas tree lot. Yeah, yeah right. That, that's really going to happen. That, 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 that I'm going to do a rant from the Christmas tree lot. Dream on, dream on as much as I would love to, especially I, I would love to read you the optimist creed. Right when you, when you buy the tree, they have the, the optimist creed. I, I call it the Georgia Guidestones for clueless fucking morons, but you can just go on to just Go on to, the, I'm sure the Optimist Club International, called, I think it's called, it's either Optimist International or Optimist Club International. Do go on their website and, and read the Optimist Creed. And uh, this will give you some idea with what I am dealing with. Yes, are you giving me a hand wash? Yeah, so uh, I'm off to live the optimist creed. Bye, guys. Let's go live the optimist creed. My elitist little lap dog, as you were labeled. My elitist little lap dog. Going to meet the clueless little bundles of joy in the haystack, like that. You ready to go play with the, the clueless bundles of joy in the haystack like that?